Well, the Victoria investment advisor convicted of stealing millions of dollars from his clients wants to get out of prison and he's about to make his case. Ian Thau is applying for parole tomorrow morning, nearly two years after he was given a nine-year sentence for fraud. But as CTV's Stephen Andrew reports tonight, his victims say they are still feeling the pinch. Yeah, Shepard, too. These sisters are meant to be enjoying life. Instead, they are struggling to make ends meet. When we met him, we had money in the bank and we had a mortgage-free house. Now we have no money in the bank and we have a huge mortgage on this house. Nothing to say? It is this man, Ian Thau, who stole nearly all of their retirement income. $440,000. I don't think about it, and then I hear his name. A name, the sisters say, brings back horror, betrayal, and embarrassment. The former investment advisor ripping off the women all the time, pretending to be their friend. He always told us we were his favorite ladies, and that he loved us, and he'd just pop in. They are friends no more. Thao is serving a nine-year sentence for 20 counts of fraud for bilking his former clients out of millions of dollars. But tomorrow, Ian Thao is applying for parole to serve the remainder of his sentence out of prison. His victims think it's too soon. And I'll be so devastated if he does. I, I, from what he did to the people and to my sister and I, I just want him to serve the time he was given. Thao has never apologized for his crimes. His only public statement when CTV News tracked him down in Seattle before he was arrested. It's been very difficult on my, myself and my family. I believe that the, the news media have been uh, but unfair in the reporting, and it's clearly, it's been, from my perspective, it's been unbalanced. It has been difficult for his victims, too, who believe if he is granted parole, he will reoffend. I'm sure he still has money hidden somewhere that he can get his hands on. If that money exists, investigators have not been able to find it. Instead, he lives on the public purse, as at least two of his victims eke out their meager pension. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.